True or false? Today we're going to space. True! Woohoo! Hang, Hang on, on for, for the loop! loop. Four, three, two, one. I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. Ricky, have you ever seen Cheese of Truth? I, I know. I don't think I have. Okay, so it's this guy on social media who takes pieces of Swiss cheese, throws it onto book pages to see if any messages appear. Oh, so it's kind of like a magic eight ball, but stinkier. Let's give it a try. Woohoo! I'm really excited okay. about this. All right. All right. I have found my page, and 209. Then, and then what do you do with the cheese? You just... Okay, so yeah, you just throw it on. Just like that! Look, Smelton. May. That's what I got. The Hit. eight would took this. Shares. This cheese is so stinky. I got. Man, five. <laughs> consider for who or and. <laughs> consider. I, Just consider for who. This one has uh, more space in between the words. Maybe that will be better. Oh, maybe I also just need a new piece of cheese. Okay, and it is Tribune. Whoa. Oof, this is tough. Corporation, $500. Ooh, well that's something. So it can be really hard finding truth using cheese. Yeah, cheese is unreliable. When it comes to fads in popular culture, it can be hard to figure out what's lasting truth and what's, well, just full of holes. Pop culture fads come and go so quickly. Mm -hmm. It seems like only yesterday we were carefree, drinking ocean spray, cruising on our skateboards, listening to Fleetwood Mac. Ah, times, they are a-changing. Mm. The Loop Show reacts to forgotten trends. Are those Beanie Babies? That's a lot of them. It was like a collector's thing. It's like I literally had a whole collection. These are like little ones my, my mom had. My mom has like a big like garbage bag of these. Is that an owl with a graduation hat? I'd still rock a Beanie Baby. Silly bands. These are very popular when I was in middle school. They're like rubber bands and so you put them on your <laughs> wrist. I had a lot of these. You were cool if you had them like all the way up to your elbow. Boom box. The big subs on the side. Carrying it, you can balance it. You can get a crowd around you. I'd say this like on mostly like American shows. I actually have one very similar to that at my house. Actually, mm -hmm. does it work? Yeah, it does actually. I think I've literally only seen them in movies and in pictures. The whole thing of like carrying it on your shoulder, yeah. and pulling up to your crush's house, and being like, I love you. And like <laughs> the music just playing. I have no idea what these are. What oh. are those? This looks like a super off-brand, <laughs> gross-looking Mr. Potato Head. Are they beans? Walnuts or some sort? It looks like a raisin. You know what this is? I think they're raisin dudes. The California raisins. Do they come with raisins? I like the shoes, though. They look pretty musical. I would really love to hear a California raisin song. I just feel like if I saw this as a kid, I would not want to eat raisins. <laughs> Parachute pants, but parachute <laughs> jeans. I don't know if this is old. I love these chef's kiss. These are coming back. I, I don't know why this is a trend. Wearing those in the rain, they'd get all wet on the bottom. You need to fold it up. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to reach your phone? Here. That's what I'm saying. They're like <laughs> down to his kneecap. I'm 100% pro baggy jeans. Everyone should only wear baggy jeans. Okay, the tickle me Elmo. Like you tickle it and it'll giggle. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Frankly, I thought he was a little scary. I have like nightmares of Elmo. Elmo itself will never forget. Tickle me, Elmo. It can stay forgotten. Oh! Do you know this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Flappy Bird. <laughs> yep. I've played this in, in class <laughs> sometimes. This was such a great game. You start at zero, and you go for as long as you can, and you just gotta go through the pipes. Hours on hours, just tapping away. What is that? I don't know this trend. Oh, planking. I don't know if it started off with like a viral video. I just saw people doing this in public. I don't get it. What's the reason? Like, I think that we should just bring it back and just see what happens. Pet rocks. My science teacher had a pet rock. There might be like a dragon inside. Or is something. it just a rock? If you pay money for this, Maybe it's for like those kids who like they ask for a puppy. You don't need a rock anymore, like out of your front yard. You can go to Pet Rock. Do you want a rock? Because <laughs> we have rocks. Do you need a friend? Because we have rocks. Dance crazes. The twist? The twist. The twist is just like this, right? I heard of it. It's like this. It was like a jazzy, like. <laughs> You're twisting something. Do the twist. The Roger Rabbit. Never heard of that in my entire life. Maybe a hop. Something like this. <laughs> there we go. Rabbit? This is it right here. 
Left, right, palm, palm, shoulder, shoulder. This, this, no. Yes, it is. Is it like open on them style? It's like Gangnam style. And it's, yep. <laughs> Whenever I was little, I remember I used to play the song so much, and it got really annoying really quickly. I did like Blossom for Fortnite did it. Yeah. What? No way. I don't think it was a thing before Fortnite did it. It was. Just like that. There it is. Hey. Okay. Something like this? You're a flosser. All right. <laughs> Sometimes it can feel like if everyone's following the trend that it must be true. But that's not always reality. And speaking of things that seem real but aren't, we're going to go to space. Yay! Ricky, are you excited? Well, the last time I tried VR, it got a little ah! intense. Ah! So let's try it again. Let's take a look at what VR was like in the past. All right, here we are. I'm in space. This is a 360 video. Things are moving but I, I can't interact with them. I can only stand in this one spot. And right behind me is a giant fan. Keeps all of the planets nice and cool. What's this one? What's that? Is that Jupiter over there? What's the... Oh my goodness! Oh my... Nope, nope, Jupiter's behind me. It is big. If you could go to any of the planets, which one would you want to go to? Saturn. Okay, so this is fun and educational, but not like... Whoa, I'm having so much fun! Yeah, I, I, I can't like yeah. feel like I'm close to space or that I'm about to fall off of anything. Jamie, where are you? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm in space, but this is so much cooler than just like looking at the TV screen. This really is neat. I like it. Are you on Saturn? Oh, uh, wait. <gasps> Did you guys put me on Saturn? Is this the ring? It's totally Saturn. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. I wish that I could run on the rings. I wish that I could actually get on the planet and walk around it. Whoa, oh, it's over. Some video games are hard. Some video games are easy. But the earliest video games, they were hard. That was the trend. Everything could kill you. That thing could kill you, and that thing could kill you, and that thing could definitely kill you. And that guy killed me lots of times, and that, yep, you'd be dead. Some games would give you multiple lives and hearts, some would only give you one. Lose them, and you wouldn't just have to start the level over, you'd have to start the entire game over. Hard video games like that were popular when I was a kid, but does that mean that they are the best type of video game of all time? Of course not. Now we have great games, some that are hard, some that are easy, and everything in between. Catching bugs can be just as much fun as fighting a three-headed dragon. What can video games teach us about trends and truth? Well, we can't put our trust in what's popular because all trends, video game trends included, change over time. Instead, it's important for us to know where we can find truth that never changes. Which brings us to the Bible. The Bible tells us that God made the world to be good, but that sin took that good world and twisted it. That's why Paul wrote in Romans 12 too, don't live the way the world lives. We can't trust the world and its trends because both have been twisted by sin. What can we trust? Earlier in the book of Romans, Paul wrote how God is better than any trend. God is rich in wisdom and knowledge. He's merciful and generous. Paul said, for from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forever, amen. Nothing else, no trend or popular thing on this earth lasts like those lasting qualities of God. How are we then supposed to respond to who God is? We can follow his guidance with everything we've got, with our heart, with our soul, with our mind, with our strength. When we give it all to following Jesus, he transforms our lives with his guidance. That's why he gave us the Bible. God knows how the world can be better. And that's the truth. Okay, so popular culture changes quick. Let's see how much VR has changed. Let's see. Here I go. Whoa! Ooh, this is so cool. Can you move around in there? Okay, I think I can't. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. 
Whoa, oh my gosh, how do I, oh. Do you feel like you're floating? I do feel like I'm floating and my head is hitting the ceiling. What is this? What is this? Oh, that's a computer. Ooh, oh my goodness, there's space people over here. I wanna see these space people. Hello. Did you get mail in space? Oh, good job, Loopsters. You listened to our recommendations and got us a, got us a letter in space. Yeah, see, okay, you, let's see. Yeah. Whoa, what? <laughs> Sorry, it's just me. Whoa. <gasps> wow, I'm so strong, I'm moving this entire space station. All right, turn around. Whoa. See, I just don't really wanna, I don't, I don't have any legs. No, because you're, you're, you're in space. Oh, wow. What is What do they call these things? A Milky Way, right? Is that right? It's so pretty. Is that Florida? Or is that Italy? <laughs> oh, I think it's Flittily. Let's see if I can fit through here. Here we go. I'm Jamie from The Loop Show. Write your name on the moon. This is Go, amazing. Ricky, go. This is amazing. Whoa. Whoa. Yay. Wow, you shot right Yay. through that. Are you swimming? Oh, hi swim. there. I'm trying to grab some. What? I like that you're squatting. Whoa. Like you have a booster on your back. Yeah, this is. I think it's more what? fun because you can explore. This is really fun because we can interact with some of the things. Like, right, I'm gonna high five this. They say, ah, oh my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> You can throw things and you can choose to get to where you want to go. Yeah. But with the other one, it's more just kind of like observing it, just looking yeah. around. Yeah, like the more I move, the more I'm running into and breaking very expensive space equipment. Yep. It kind of makes you feel butterflies in your tummy a little bit with the other, with the 360. I don't feel like it really feels like you're gonna fall down or something. Wow. Look at all these galaxies. Discerning truth is hard, which is why I have this discernment hack for you. Real easy. Check, compare, cultivate. You know it. I got this idea from a verse in the book of Romans. Paul wrote this to, to, to the Roman church and these words just popped out at me. It was a helpful tool as we hunt for truth. Here it is. Don't live the way this world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. Check. Then you will be able to test what God wants from you and you will agree that what he wants is right. Compare. His plan is good and pleasing and perfect. Cultivate. To show you how this works, I thought we could try it with one of the greatest hits of peer pressure of all time. It's a little saying that goes, everybody's doing it. Mm, why don't you come with me? Everybody's doing it. I bought my VR. Mm, everybody's doing it. You see me doing it? Come on. Everybody's doing it has probably been around since like the beginning of time. Like as soon as there were enough people to say, we're all gonna go do this thing and you should too, I bet that was when people started to like jump off a cliff together. I like this one because I wonder if something's popular to most people, like to the majority of the world, does that make it true? That's a tough one. Let's run it through the hack. Check, stop and check the source. As followers of Jesus, we believe that the Bible is a blueprint of all God wants the world to be. We can read and study God's word to see examples of how sin messes with that blueprint. Sin takes the good world that God created and distorts it. It like bends it all out of shape. We know that trends fade and we can't put our faith in things that fade. So when we check this source, does it say where we can put our faith? Of course it does. In his letter to the Corinthian church, this is in 2 Corinthians, Paul tells all the followers of Jesus to depend on God's grace and not on the world's wisdom. The Bible shows us we can put our faith in God's grace. And with that grace, with our various gifts, you and I can make a difference by restoring God's goodness. We can bend things back into shape. Watch what happens when the people in this book follow the crowd and put their faith in the popular ideas of the time. It don't go well. <laughs> All right, to the next step. Compare. Slow down and compare God's truth to your choices. On one side, you've got the teachings of culture and the world. And on the other side, you've got the teachings of Jesus. Because of sin, the world is bent toward injustice, death, violence, and evil. Compare that with the teachings and life of Jesus. You find his example was the perfect embodiment of justice, life, peace, and love. Through his life, heaven is brought to earth and we get a glimpse of what we all long for, what it all could be. 
After testing and comparing the two, do you follow culture or follow Jesus? And what do you do with that choice? Cultivate. Go and cultivate good fruit. Choose God's reality and watch your life be full of good fruit. Cultivate is another word for developing. So you know the truth and now you let it change your actions. In this case, truth not only transforms you, it transforms the real world around you. When you join in where God is moving in the world and you follow his blueprint, you cultivate things like love, peace, resilience, goodness, and gentleness. These are the things that truly change the world in a way that a cool fad never could. Instead of chasing trends, you choose to reset reality back to the truth. So, check, compare, cultivate. Just because an idea is popular does not mean it's true. Are you following the flow instead of what you know? God knows how the world can be better. That's the truth. I really liked exploring the space station. That was probably my favorite part of the challenge. Both experiences were really beautiful. But I am glad to be here on the ground in reality. Yes, don't ground yourself in things that seem real just because they're popular. How can you follow truth instead of trends? God knows the world better than anyone. Put your trust in his reality. Go out there and make a difference. And until next time, enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride. So if you like this challenge, you will love the time that we got to play as our own video game characters. Yes, he was Ricky, I was Jamie, and we collected something really cool. Oh, yeah, it was so much fun. Let us know in the comments below your favorite kind of game. And if you've ever played VR. Check it out. Let us know. Yeah.